Hello YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Today I wanted to take some time and expose Julie Rowe, for double talking gal that she is. I think that she has been Johnny on the spot for this case. It comes out whenever media seems to be getting a little slow. She comes out with a new story to sort of get our attention in that direction. But the truth is, it's always a new made up story. And if you've been following her since January or so, you've seen the story change quite a bit. What you see in the first clips I'm going to play, because I'm going to play the before clips first and then the after clips second, but you're going to see that her story changed significantly. Back when she was singing Chad's praises, saying that Lori was basically a battered woman who had gone through a bitter battle with her ex-husband, and that she was just an abused, poor abused woman. She even says that the kids are safe and they're just having the time of their lives. When in reality, we know that the kids at that point were already dead in shallow graves. For her to even act like she's some sort of a visionary, a prophet, there's nothing to back that. She's been wrong about every single thing she said. Her more recent Nancy Grace clips or interviews, you're going to see that she is a... Uh, seemingly guilty lover. She is so upset with Chad and that Chad snowed her. Whereas in the beginning, she's talking, she's saying that that Chad was innocent and that he had been framed. So what was it that changed the story? Hopefully we can sort of shed some light on that. She is full of baloney and it's my hope that we can kind of reveal that in her before and after clips that I play here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And let's go ahead and begin. But I do know that my angels tell me that Chad Dable is being falsely accused of, of a suspicious death of his wife. I do know that if there's foul play involved, which I don't believe there is, it was not Chad. And Lori moved. Talking about when Tammy... Tammy speaks to Julie and came to her in a hotel room. The spirit looks a little different, but I can tell you this much. Tammy is in a very happy place. She's wearing white right now. <laughs> she is um, grateful the plan is oh rolling God. forward. She's grateful she, she did her part. She was well received. She's in paradise and she's having a great time with beloved family members and friends that missed her a great deal. And she's okay. Now let's play the clip with Nancy Grace where, let's see, this was on July 7th, 2020. So Is it true that you believe you have spoken to Tammy Daybell since her death? I talk to Tammy often, at least twice a week. Tammy came to visit me at my class in San Diego the afternoon that she died. She came to my hotel room and told me that she was very distraught at what she had learned, that she was very upset with Chad and very concerned about her children. Her heart was heavy. And she told me to tell the truth at all costs, that I needed to do this, that that it was important that I spoke my truth no matter what people think. And that is the main reason that I went public and changed. All right, next clip. We're going to try to line up. Let's see. Here's before. I scanned Chad's energy. His heart was broken. He couldn't believe that it had happened like that. He and I talked over three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. We had both seen her in a car accident. We thought maybe she was going to go a year ago in a car accident because it, so, it seemed so constant that we both kept seeing this vision. About a year ago, I got a message from the other side that the plan had changed for Tammy, that they had extended her time on Earth. I don't even know what that means, Eric. I was just hearing that. I ran it by a chat and he said, I've been given the same message. I'm grateful I have more time. All right. Now let's see. What did she say on Nancy Grace, July 7th, 2020? I don't, if I see things like that, I don't tell people, but he did come to me and asked me if I'd seen anything, and then he described what he'd been shown and told, and I basically said, um, I don't know, like, I haven't seen that, but I, I was told that Tammy will pass away at some point. Other than her dying in a car crash, did he have any other visions about how his wife was going to die? Um, three weeks before, that's the last he told me was in 
um, December of 2018. And one of the other reasons we had a falling out is I was very disturbed at something he said to me in 2018. He was frustrated and he said, I feel like the plants can't move on until the spouses are gone. She never mentioned that before. Julie, could you repeat that very slowly, please? I feel like my plan can't move on until the spouses are gone. Spouse says, two spouses. He said spouses. And when did he say that? December of 2018. And then three weeks before Tammy died, I had a conversation with him, which was the first time since March of 2019 when we agreed to just continue publishing my books. And right. I was prompted by my angels to ask him, do you still see Tammy dying? And he said yes. But I didn't Whopper. ask how. Whopper. I remained silent. Whopper. And then he said in a frustrated, almost angry voice, very frustrated. I feel like my plan can't move on until Am until Tammy has died. She right here in this interview with Eric Smith is saying, not only do they both see it, but they had both openly talked about it. And, and then this whole crap about the plan can't go through unless Tammy's dead. Why didn't she say that in her first interview when she was singing Chad's praises? I have my gifts. People can choose to believe them or not. I can only tell you what I know right now based on a credible witness of Chad's character. I don't know Lori, but when I look at her energy, I can tell you what I see. What do you see? What I see is a woman, and what I hear is a woman who was severely abused in a marriage by an abusive husband, and she escaped a really bad marriage. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to blame her wonder for that. I'm going to congratulate her. You're saying privations are past lives, correct? They're past lives, but I know Chad this way and the way he started to disclose his thought patterns in 2018 to me, which is he had this long list of people he thought he'd been married to before that he was reconnecting with, and Lori Vallow was one of them. And when he told me that, I said... I'm not getting that, but um, I'm getting a big caution on Lori Vallow, actually, Chad. You need to be careful. I'm getting a caution there. And he kind of smirked, uh, did this little kind of smirky laugh. We were texting the kids. Are the kids okay? Let's go to there. 22. Oh Those my two gosh. kids, Lori Vallow's two kids. I see them. The seven-year-old is laughing. Really? He's having a good time. The 17 year old is watching over him wherever they are. So, she, did you guys hear that? She sees that Ty Lee and JJ are doing wonderfully. Okay, the reality is at this point in time, they were beneath the ground in shallow graves dead. With family members and friends that missed her a great deal. And she's missing her kids and her husband, but she knows the plan and she's on board on the other side of the bill. No. Right. She's participating in this phone call right now. That's how active Tammy is involved in the wanting to get the truth out. Tammy. Oh Those my two God. kids, Lord. I can't finish this video that I'm making without playing this particular video right here because it's where Julie wrote a record to Nancy Grace and says basically that Chad also used the same come on little line that they were married in a past life and that he had come on to her. This is prior to her coming out saying that he had sexually abused her. So I want you to pay attention to her mouth and how her mouth sort of turns downward as she feigns tears because it's really notable and you see it a lot in her videos. So go ahead and pay attention to it. I'm going to roll the video right now. Chad Daybell, did he ever hit on you? Yes. What happened? And my husband knows it. Look at this. Did Chad Daybell think you were one of his past wives too? Yes. The mouth. So this is his line. Every attractive yes. woman, he tells I don't them. I see tears. He knew them in I a previous life tears. and they were married. So basically, why not just have sex right now? Because he's already been married in another life. <laughs> Nancy kills I'm me. I'm not a member so of the funny. LDS. I'm not familiar with 
a lot of what you're saying, but I'm seeing a pattern. You worked closely with him. Yes. You're attractive. And bam, suddenly he remembers, hey, I was married to you in another life. There's a whole lot of lying going then on. Then there's Lori Vallow. Look at that. Then there's Look the other now. lady you told me about that he was texting and her husband found out. Right. That's three right there. He also told me that he thought he was married to Melanie Gibb. And you were the first person I've said that to other than three people the in first, my First because she circle. made it up. And my husband, of course. You have just given me chill bumps all down my oh, arms. Oh, Nancy, save it. Because save it. talking to you and looking at you, I just knew it. Please, I just knew they bell hit on you. That lion mouth. And now you're telling me that about Melanie. How did you find out you she also tears? was married to Chad Daybell in another tears? life? I only heard it from Chad. I don't know what it is about Chad Daybell. Apparently, a lot of women fall for this. All kinds of women. Because he's misusing his spiritual gifts. It is to date one of the hardest things oh like, this is the grand finale right here and i feel extremely betrayed by chad i will do everything i can to see justice i am absolutely sick okay, to my stomach. ending that video now i just want to say whoever has been a victim of sexual assault or abuse please know that i'm not in any way making fun of you it's that Julie Rowe has a proven track record of lies, lies, and more lies. So I'm just trying to back up what I'm saying with more evidence that she is Johnny on the spot with stories when the media has now vilified Chad Daybell. She has suddenly turned her back on him too. So I just think that that's interesting. I'm paying attention to the notable pattern here. Julie Rowe came out and claimed sexual assault on Chad Daybell. She claims that it happened December of 2018. So, when she's singing his praises, where was that little factoid? Why wasn't that thrown in there? Why? Because she makes up her story as she goes. Julie, if you're watching this, come on. Do you think that videos aren't going to record exactly what it is you said then and now? You could never be a credible witness for this prosecution team because... Your story, it's got tons of holes in it. It's Swiss cheese, man. Anyway, I hope that you found value in this video. I was unable to get the video footage where she's claiming sexual abuse on, on Chad. It was completely scrubbed off the internet. I can't find it anywhere. I hope that you enjoyed it, though. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.